Well, hi there, guys. What's up, people? Dom Seals is right here. Uh, uh, today it is a Sunday. Ooh, Sunday. Today we are going to the Great Classic Zoo. Remember the one that we went to back in 2017? But there's definitely going to be a difference because we they literally uh, I think it was the end of the end of last year. They had to say the sad farewell to one of the pandas where it went where it went back to where it which it came from, which was of course China. Um, a lot, a lot of people were extremely upset on that day, which I saw it all over the news. It was quite um, surprising to see a lot, a lot of people really, really upset, and um, a lot of people were very unfortunate to see for seeing it to go. But they did have two cubs, so hopefully the two panda, the two baby pandas are still there. They're not going to be babies anymore. They're definitely going to be a lot, lot more older now. They'll be more like teenagers or probably younger, young adults. So. Uh, we're gonna go there um, and also after we finish there, I won't be going straight back home I'm actually gonna be deciding to head right back to Ikebukuru to go back to that mandrake um, I th thought, well not, yeah, it's, yeah, it is that mandrake one I've thought of it very long and hard. I actually found something else in um, Akihabara when I was walking around last night that had other booster packs of stuff. They the exact same stuff, but they weren't booster boxes, they were just loose booster packs, which I may get down the line. But I cannot pass up this opportunity this time. I did it last time, I passed it up, and I went back, and it was already gone. Um, that was with the Persona DV, the, the Persona CDs. Uh, Persona 5 is still there in Book Off, but Persona 4 and 3, they're fucking gone. I'm, I'm quite pissed off about that. But I know I will find them again sooner or later. Because, like I said, there's mandrakes there, so they may have them CDs over there, and I'll pick them up there and then. So, I was thinking to myself on how much should I bring to that, to, you know, today, whilst I'm in the zoo. I've decided to bring 60,000 yen remade. That is a lot, a lot of money, people. Definitely a lot. Um, do I think I'm going to spend in all that money? Possibly not. Um, but I am going to buy quite a bit of them Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh products. Because after that's all done, I don't think I need to buy any more of them. Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon booster packs for quite a long time. I'll be probably going after all the stuff, the other uh, boost boxes that we cannot get. Unless I just buy myself some loose ca loose pa loose cards of cards I actually really do need. Like, I do need Baron de Fiora. A lot of people are thinking, why am I calling it D Fiora? Um, the My Fiora, because Baron de Fiora looks like Adolf Hitler in his ho on his horse. It's an original picture. Um, and these, I still need to go after Ash Blossoms, Nibiru's, you get the gist, okay, people, that there's literally a lot, I'm left the meta cards for the UK tournaments. I know you're not allowed to use Japanese cards in English tournaments, but I don't give two fucks, I'm not professional anymore, I play for fun, okay? So the people who are in Geek Retreat who complain about me saying that, oh, he plays Japanese cards, he should be banned, fuck you! I play my own rules, not yours, dickhead! <laughs> Anyhow! And also, whilst I'm in that um, Mandrake over there as well, I'll be trying to find the remaining um, Gaka no Sukai uh, DVDs and the Documentals. The Documentals, I'm only missing two. I'm missing number five and number seven. But of course, with the Gaka no Sukais, I'm still missing eight, 17, 18, 21, 22, 24 and 25. We're getting close, people. I don't have a clue if there's more than 26. But I'm gonna damn sure give it, keep giving my all to find them last DVDs because I really want to have that gold collection when I'm at home. Um, you may be thinking as well on what else am I doing today? So, well, not today, but tomorrow we'll be planning on going to Ginza. I'll be having my Ginza steak there tom tomorrow, and also go ahead to go to the Kit Kat factory. I really want to go back there because there's supposed to be some new stuff there, so I definitely want to pick some stuff there. Uh, there's also a Final Fantasy shop there, which I want to check that out. There's also book offs and hard offs all around Ginza, so I'm going to be walking around Ginza pretty much the whole day. Um, and then after that, so this is this is what I've been planning. Okay, people. Uh, Tuesday, Yokohama. We're going to the Pokemon Center there, and also to look at that uh, second-hand Pokemon store as well. Uh, Wednesday, I'm thinking of going to Take a Shitter Street in Shibuya, and also if we have a chance. It's also in Shinjuku, we're going to Kabukicho, Kamuro Cho, for the people who don't know that. Uh, that's on the Wednesday, and Thursday, Roppongi. 
Now, part of me thoughts myself, do I really need to go to a Pongi because it's pretty much just a nightlife, cl uh, club land place and all that lot. I'd give it one more try and all that lot, you know, you guys know me, I can only go to a Pongi now to, if I want to go to clubs. But I still need to go to the Sashiji Fish Market because it's a great place to eat and it's a good place to look around. Um, so yeah, I'm going to just try and go as much as I can people, because like I said, we're literally on the one. We're on the halfway mark now, people of this of this holiday trip, and uh, we did quite. A, we've done quite a lot, people. Yeah, we really have. A lot of people may be thinking he hasn't gone fucking far away yet. Um, it's like you've not got out of Tokyo. I told you, I'm not going out of Tokyo because it's too fucking big. I really want to check out all the rest of the areas. Um, because you guys know me, I'm a freaking collector, so I'm actually going after all the stuff that I really want from a collection. Not um, just to brag about it and look at it and film it and then fuck off. I'm there to buy, not to um, just look at. Um, there's other places I want to check out though, but it's like, if I don't have the time, I don't have the time. I'll have to do that another year. Because there's just so much stuff to do in this place. It's so much stuff. Um, but at this moment in time though, I really want to try and keep a hold of the money because like I said we're on the halfway point almost and I'm just a little under half of what I've actually spent so sooner or later it'll be probably yeah I'll be probably going to the Tahiji, the Tahiji fish market to um, spend a little bit of it because like I said it's not too expensive and it's not too cheap so yeah anyhow I'm gonna go get myself some breakfast it is now um, 8.22, the zoo opens up at half nine, so I've got plenty of time before that, so I can easily get the the, um, the, the train up there and uh, have a look around and then head into the zoo. The zoo closes around about seven o'clock in the afternoon, so I've got a good, good couple of hours in there, people, to take pictures of, film some animals, enjoy my time, and then we'll go straight to Ikebukuru, okay? So, I'll see you guys in... I'll see you guys when I get to the zoo. See you in a bit. For fuck's sake, why is it always going to be bastard hills? Oh, I thought the fucking gardens were bad. This is even steeper. Jesus. God damn, fucking, fucking ramps. Why do I see a wild Yoshi? There's a wild Yoshi. Well, I'm going this way anyhow, so fuck it. Okay, people, so we arrived in the same area where the zoo is. Now I need to get to the actual point. Now, there is a lot, a lot of um, like you know, wayfinders, like waypoints that you can actually stop and take pictures of. So I'm going to try and get to some of them as well. But um, this is where I met that random fella um, back in 2017. I don't know if he was drunk or he was homeless or anything like that, but I definitely know 100% sure he was not homeless. He had too much jewellery. But he actually helped me go straight to the actual zoo. And I was pretty much said thank you to him and all that. And then all of a sudden he just gives me one of his rings. And I'm thinking, oh, I don't want your ring. And it was an alien ring for you. That was the one that I gave to um, Uncle and uh, Mr. Miyagi in um, the Waltons. And they still have it there. So that's quite cool, that Tim. That's like a bit of history there for you. But um, if I got time, like if I'm not in the zoo for long, which I don't think I will, I don't, which I don't think I'm gonna be, which I will be long anyhow, I may have chance to have a look around here before I go back to Ikebukuru. But I really do not want to miss my chance to get them boost boxes because I've been thinking about that all night last night. Because thinking, do I or do I not? If I miss, if I don't do it, I'm gonna regret it for all the rest of the rest of the year because. Everybody in the United Kingdom don't get them, and what when they do, they're paying on about two hundred pound on eBay or one hundred and fifty, depending on where you get them from, just so they can open it and then say, "What a waste of money that was." At least with what I'm doing, I'm actually getting it from the actual country, a little bit cheaper than getting it on eBay. So, anyway, let's get going and let's see if we can find this out. Hopefully, on our own. <laughs> it looks like they still miss this panda. Uh, Xiang Zhang, that's the panda that left right, to go back to China. Uh, if I remember, I think this was the panda that um, was not looking at the camera. It was like, hey, wait the fuck up! <laughs> Tell you what, just even walking a little bit, 
I've just seen that one hell of a beautiful scenery. Look at this. Oh my god. Now that's freaking majestic, alright? It's literally one of the most beautiful trees you can ever see in the world. Just literally in the centre of Inyo. So if I remember, this is the way to get to the zoo. This is the one I actually missed out on. I went the long way around. <laughs> it's because they've me. Even the fucking pigeons are more protesting on over there. The dirty bastards shitting on the sacred stone. The dirty bastards. Now everything's all coming together now. All the pieces are starting to fit. All these trees, just as I thought as I was walking, are all going to be ch cherry blossoms. So, if they're not out yet, so, so today's Sunday, so we got, and I've still got a whole week left. I think he's going to be coming out just before I'm going to leave, so I'll have to keep an eye out because some of them are starting to blossom over there, but these haven't. These like are taking ages. I got hope oh, these guys do blossom before I do leave. The hell, I missed so much when I was here. If only I did not, if only I did not take that long way around, I wouldn't have seen this. So I missed all this lot when I did that stupid long way around. It looks like down, and from what I've seen down there, it's um, pretty much a, it's pretty much a tourist attraction. But it's just like, how do you pronounce it? It's not like a proper shrine shrine. shrine, a shrine the proper shrine is actually near the zoo, so which I'm going to go to that one soon. But don't you guys worry, because there is one in Shibuya near uh, Takashita Street. So, I'll be going to that one too. Well, it's nice to see that one from up here. Because it looks actually quite nicer from far away than it looks like then going down there and checking it yourself. And it looks like they're bustling to get in there some way. So it looks like you cannot film inside, but it doesn't stop you from filming outside. So, pretty much, that's just one of the shrines. Which you can go ahead and have a prayer and then then you can leave. So like I said, when it comes to holy things, when it comes to religion or anything like that, don't film anything. It's pretty much respect. So I'll probably go in there in a minute and have a prayer. You may be thinking, Dobsy, you don't pray, do you? I'm like, yeah, of course I do. We always everybody every person should pray once in a while, whether you believe or don't believe. There's at least one thing, there's got to be something that you're praying for, whether it's something to get them better, or better job, better relationships, um, a bright future, anything like that. If you guys don't, then you definitely don't have a life. That's all I'm saying. Little birds into the cherry blossoms. A lot of people say, does it look nicer far away or does it look nicer up close? I think it looks way nicer, but mid range view. So, I went into that little tiny shrine, temple area. Um, people were taking pictures, so I thought I'll just whip out the camera a little bit. Um, took a picture of the cherry blossoms in there, beautiful as anything. There was even some birds in there eating some of the blossoms, which is very lovely pictures. Um, I prayed into one of the gods there, so 
pretty much a lot of people, so some people may be thinking, what did I pray for? I won't say it in detail, but I prayed for somebody to get better. Um, have you ever had people, I'm sure a lot of you guys have had things that like, has been down into the dumps and feel like that, everything was not worth it? Well, sometimes you feel like that and you need something to think about the positive. And I thought, when I saw that, I think that was the best time to pray for it. So I hope that person, if he's watching or not, I wish he gets better. He knows exactly who he is. Very strong man that was. Wait a minute though, he looks familiar. Wait a minute, that's the picture I saw on YouTube about bowing the floor. Somebody said to me it was freaking, it was an imitation of Adolf Hitler. So, why did they show those pictures of that? Maybe they got their history wrong. Because that's not Hitler. Alright, <laughs> it's definitely not. <laughs> um, pretty much with that lot, it's one of the strongest generals back in Japanese history. But I can tell you truthfully though, the card of Baron de Filoa looks just like that. But I've seen pictures of also of Adolf Hitler having the same exact pose. Was the card supposed to be him? Or was it supposed to be him? I think it's supposed to be him. But I'm still going to call Baron de Flora Baron de Fiora. <laughs> oh god. So who is it? The Imperial Prince Akihoto, okay. So we're literally at the central part now. And there's the zoo right there. So it's time for us to get in there people and uh, pay our ticket and start looking at some animals. What? But well, one thing though, what animals am I actually excited to see this time? Um, of course I want to see the panda again. But the red pandas, I love my red pandas. A lot of people would say, what tattoo, what animal would I have on my skin if it has to be? Red pandas. I think they're adorable. Um, but, of course, I do want to see penguins. But I know it's like, don't see fucking penguins, they should be in the Antarctica, they shouldn't be in a whole country like this. Yeah, but they all, but like I said, this, the Ian, the Eno Zoo, I think it's one of the most protected and most caring zoos that look after the animals 24-7. Not like the zoos like Chester Zoo and all that lot. Because them type of ones are like, what the hell? Anyhow, better get going before shit some more people start turning Okay up. people, so we're in now. Um, so we have the South the West Garden and then we have the East Garden. Um, so we're literally right here to start off with of course so of course we've got ourselves the japanese animals japanese birds we have bisons we've got prairie dogs squirrels monkeys elephants otters owls you, you get the gist of it you get a lot, a lot of stuff that a lot of you guys have seen but a lot of things like the macaques um uh, loomers uh, of course, the rarest animal of all time, the unicorn, I call it, it's the Okapi. It's uh, pretty much half zebra, half giraffe, well, a, a third zebra, third giraffe, third deer. It's like three animals in one. There's the red pandas, which is on the opposite side, kangaroos, flamingos. Uh, we've got the south, the panda forest, so they've actually, it looks like it, they have moved the panda. Which is actually good though, because the panda was literally over here at one point in 2017 so i think the reason why they moved it because everybody was going to it right away and um i remember last time it was hiding so much it was wanting to freaking sleep all the day so let's go have a look around then shall we and of course they have got themselves the video clip of the um baby pandas that have now grown up a little bit more they've learned to climb which is fantastic I got hope I do see the baby, the um, the newborn pandas now that they are out now in the wild. This is gonna be, this is gonna be fun to be honest, people. This is gonna be a different experience than last time because it's different. Remember, five years, people, five years since we last came here. 
let's hope there's something new and let's hope there's some more new adventures in here let's have a looky shall we mum mama dabs can you guess the film shall we dance da dun 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 <laughs> fucking knew it wasn't japanese it was thai I had, I, no wonder that's why i thought um shall we dance if you didn't have a clue what shall we dance is from people it's from a film called the king and i where where a english woman becomes a teacher to the uh, uh what was it the um the king of siam it was based off a true story made into an abnormal film musical and then it became a cartoon which is still one of my absolute favorite of cartoons of all time <laughs> one of my favorites um but i think the, uh, my all-time favorite one is definitely Anastasia story about the um, the girl that um, did not die in that awful um, blood rage in uh, Russia T story to be truth told though she did die in the um, in that attack though she didn't survive anyhow enough of little history lessons <laughs> um, so pretty much which way I'm going to I am pretty much going to the right side so I'm near the Thai pavilion so now we're moving on to the um, otters, the owls, the eagles. So pretty much we're going to the bird area first. And then we'll be moving upwards to the tigers and the tempes and the bats and of course the gorillas. And then we've got more birds and also Toucan Sam, the car car. Okay, I think we're doing a, a good little start off to, to be honest people to go into the otters and all that. You may not see him but he's freaking hiding. Why is it always animals that want to hide? Blink, motherfucker, blink! I've seen it all, people. We get these in England every single day. These are our flying rats. It's a fucking pigeon. <laughs> He's hiding. There he is. Oh, there he is. Where's he going? There he is. And that, that, people, is an otter. A lot, it makes me laugh that a lot, a lot of people. Come on, focus, will ya? There we go. It wants to focus the rails, not the animal. Yes, yes. And he wants to go in his arm, and he's gonna go in home. Look at this, oh, fuck this shirt. What a lot of people looking at. Oh, going for a swim? No? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I call a one eye owl. He's staring into my soul. Look at him. He wants to murder me right now. Oh, <laughs> he turned his head. I, don't you turn your head behind me. Oh, no, I moved. I moved. We have one up there that's actually sleeping. You guys can see it. Bloody owls have made a dirty protest, saying, let me out. <laughs> but I know a lot of people are thinking, it's, it's not fair. There will be people. There'll be people on the internet, there'll be people in the United Kingdom and everything like that saying, oh, I mean, animals caged up is cool. But with the ones here, they are well looked after. They're not like, you know, captive. They have a lot, a lot of stuff to do. And of course, the actual home, you know, the, the carers, definitely do care about the animals. That's why they have them here. And they're very well looked after people, very well looked after. So, don't stop complaining. Oh, there's that dangerous bastard. This guy's ve this guy's a vicious creature. Remember, this is vulture, or an eagle. No, it's not a vulture; it's an eagle. Very dangerous creature. So this one right here, people, is the the hawk eagle. These ones you see mainly in the mountains. And they pretty much hunt down small birds, small pheasant, like, like, like little tiny birds, 
also like little tiny um, rodents like rats. Um, what, was the, what was the biggest one they ever took out? I've seen on the documentary shows. Like, babe, like tiny, tiny baby deer. The ones that they pick up and like, actually fly with them and then they actually drop them off the mountain where they kill them in an instant and then they take them and eat them. Vicious creatures. That is a king animal. King of birds, that is. Super strong wings. Flies, uh, oh, that. Like summit, like almost 100 kilometers per hour. It's freaking fast. Pretty much, I think this is like the king of all birds. I think king of birds. Now we have the bastard of all the birds. This is the vulture. So pretty much, doesn't care what you are. If you're not moving, your ass is meal. Um, I remember an episode of uh, the Wild Boys where um, Steve-O pretty much lay down still and actually put a bit of meat around him and then he started actually biting him like crazy and then after they started biting they didn't stop until he had to get up and start moving but the the tears of the people they are freaking monsters but also they're one dirty bastards as well look at the shit they've got so the amount of shit they shit do you have any respect for yourself man what bird is this one? Oh, the bird's the name's over there. I'll find it in a second. Oh, this thing's freaking huge. What is this one called? The condor. Okay. You an ugly motherfucker. Look at a little hawk right here, cleaning his feathers. Plucking his feathers to be honest, getting him cleaned. Takatora Toda's Tea Ceremony House. So pretty much 350 years ago, they use this for the the reception of shoguns who paid a visit to the shrine for worship. It was erected in the memory of Iyuza Tokawa, the founder of the shogunate. Now a trace of the form of the elegant appearance still remains. So this is where all the shoguns many pay, pretty much paid a visit here. Where they go ahead and worship but then remember this is the replica area this is not like the original place the original one is long gone people it's gonna go The Great Elegant Crane. Go, do the snakey leg. <laughs> Go on, man, do the snakey leg. And giving them some. A lot of them are doing like. It must be cleaning season for them today. Where they just start cleaning. And he's also resting his neck. Move, motherfucker, move! <laughs> There's one of the tigers. The Zoom, the Zoom and Tigers. I need to find a better view. There's the tiger there. I'm lying down in the shade. I need to get a better view. We're still trying to get a better view, but that's actually a better view than the last one. The other one, we actually saw its face. Oh, come on. Hey, there you are. Hello. There he is. That's a better view that I can get. I love tigers. M Mama does love tigers as well. So tigers more than lions. Well, that's um, 
there's no animals at the minute around here after I saw them tigers now that they're beautiful then people at the minute what's my favorite animal that I've seen at the minute that also was beautiful but that tiger definitely does kick, take it as well now I have been having a lot of people ask me questions um, on Facebook and the thing like you know personal stuff when I'm vlogging and I'm using my headphones it makes me look like a freaking I don't know something from the outer space <laughs> but when people are wondering, what music do I listen to whilst I'm walking about? <laughs> the main ones I may listen to, of course, you get yourself your video game soundtracks, my Final Fantasy, Kingdom Hearts. But you may be thinking, what am I listening to right now? I'm listening to Samantha Fox. <laughs> touch me, touch me now. <laughs> it's literally on shuffle, so I'm listening to anything right now. Um, I don't use Spotify because it's too much money. I'm not spending, I'm not having a subscription. I don't like doing subscriptions. Oh, there may be a spot in here for another lot of tigers. So let's have a look. That's a good thing for me to know. The howling monkeys are not there at the minute. They're probably having them having a nap. But we're heading to the gorilla section. Let's go and check them it's out. It's freaking annoying when they are inside there. They're inside there, I see them moving, but you can't see them in the camera. God damn it. They're in there. But it's that dark, you can't see them. So by the sound of it, it looks like... Oh, <sighs> Get my headphones out. By the sound of it, it looks like that the, also the gorillas are also napping. So possibly, they sleep at the same time as all the rest of the monkeys. So possibly we may not be able to see them. Which is a bit of a bummer, but like I said, we did see them last time. So there you have it. But we didn't get to see the otters or anything like that, so that's quite good. Um, but we did get to see the tiger though. That's a good thing though. The tiger was one that I actually wanted to see more than anything. Because last time we couldn't see it. Because it was out napping as usual. So uh, yeah. Uh, the next thing we will look for is... Uh, let's have a look at the map now. So we are near the bats and the tempers. So let's see if we're going to find them. And I just smell something grotty then. Fucking that little stunk. Jesus Christ, who fucking farted? Jesus. Okay, so the um, the bats and everything, we can't see them. That's in under maintenance. So it looks like they are hidden away whilst they're getting things sorted. But the tempins here. Just got the camera, there we go. Now it's having a nice long nap like they always do. At least it's in the show. He overheard me. Oh, this guy's ace. Toucan Sam, just following your nose. Also, what way you call it? The cra cra. The toucan. Well, if you guys know from Pokemon, the two cannon. Cool, cool po well, cool bird all together. Adorable. Hey, hey what about? Are they going to? Are you two going to scrap? Are you going to scrap? Oh, one's going after him. But you want sham? I'll give it you. Oh, this guy's up there just chilling with his lovely hat with his new quiff. <laughs> I love your hairdo, buddy. The crowned hornbill. One ugly motherfucker. He looks menacing as anything. He looks like he can rip my fucking nose off. Especially with them flipping eyes. Jesus. They're piercing reins in my heart. Where are you going? Hey, 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 come back! You little bastard! I'm fabulous! 
Always oh, trying to get to the other cage. The other one's a female. This is a this is a boy. It must be mating season. The Asian elephant. Just having its lovely breakfast. Oh, wait a minute. It's a, it's a little one. Oh, it's a little one. It's a boy as well. Why? How do I know it's a boy? Because it's got tusks. It's got baby tusks. By the look of it, it looks like they're actually doing a health check now on one of the elephants. So, well, that's the name of the elephant, and he weighs 3,072 kilograms. What's that in stone? Holy shit balls! That, that's a lot, that! Uh, it's giving him a. It's, looks like it's massaging the foot. Checking everything. I just went on Google to double check on how much it weighs in stone. It just weighs just, just under 590 stone. That elephant's one big boy. <laughs> Jesus, that's like a couple of few. That's like a couple of, couple of cars. Probably a few vans. Jesus Christ, you would never think an animal would be that freaking heavy. Jesus Christ, man. No wonder why they use them as teleportation, as, you know, with transportation in uh, India and everywhere else. Huh? Oh, macaques! Oh, we got macaques! Who wants to see my macaque? <laughs> oh, dude. Welcome to the macaque hair salon. Oh, look, their hair salon's done. <laughs> it's hair salon day. Dude. The macaque is having a sunbathe. Pretty much sunbathing here. <laughs> actually, every single one of them is actually cleaning each other. Check your prostate, let me check your bollocks. Mm -hmm. Those guys, your balls are doing well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
Alan, 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 Keith, Keith, oh he's a double, he's looking at me, hello Liz, hello, you're a double, hello, he's saying right at me, he's definitely a blink, please blink, he's staring at me like so, there we go, ちょっと待って。<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> 